The couch by Mark S. U. A. S. Ghostman Horror. Hey, why does no one not you? But even the prison guards go near that prisoner sitting near the wall, banging his head repeatedly against it. I replied, it is because of the brutal way he let his wife die. May I ask how? It's no big secret, but I hope you have a good stomach. The last time I told someone, they threw up for a week. Okay, the fellow prisoner said nervously. Then the local police are called to his block of flats. Due to complaint of sissy flies and an unbearable smell, he got the shock of their lives when he saw that prisoner's wife melted into a couch covered in urine, liquid feces, maggots and insect bites. Upon being asked how this ha happened, he said he refused to bring her meals, and she refused to leave the couch, complaining of being unwell. It was a woman's job to cook and clean, and make her husband comfortable. He used to watch her urinate and defecate into the couch. It took the local police hours of careful peeling to remove his wife's body. This and the couch was the reason why the room reeked and the floor under the couch was buckling. With this, the prisoner listening to the tale ran towards the toilets as if he was in a hundred metres race. The prisoner banging his wall against banging his head against the wall, can still hear the screaming and pleading his wife locked in his private version in hell, of hell in his brain. I dedicate this story to a brave, beautiful soul who have taken away from this earth a cruel way resolved in a true story. This horrid story is based on may her star shine bright and the sky rest in peace.